Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney's office is grappling with a potential public relations crisis, as details emerge of a prank call placed on her by Russian pranksters in September, impersonating African Union Commission boss, Musa Faki Mahamat. The Italian Premier's office has stated that she was misled during the call, but the contents of the conversation, shared on an online platform, have unveiled European concerns regarding the Russia-Ukraine war. Welcome to Africa Info Hub. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. In a clip posted by Russian comedy pranksters Vladimir Kuznetsov and Alexei Stolyarov, known as Vova and Lexus, Maloney discusses the war with the impersonated African diplomat. She expressed that both sides in the conflict are fatigued and emphasized the need to find a solution to stop the conflict. After over 18 months of fighting, she remarked, everybody understands that we need a way out. The problem is to find a way out which can be acceptable for both without destroying international law. The Italian leader disclosed that she had some proposals but hadn't presented them yet due to the timing not being right. An aid statement clarified that the Italian prime minister had been deceived about the call on, believing she was genuinely speaking to the African Union chief. However, the pranksters, who have previously deceived politicians in other European countries regarding the war, may have unveiled divisions within the European Union on the issue. Publicly, the EU, to which Italy belongs, has maintained a united front on the war, imposing sanctions on Russia for its invasion of Ukraine in February of the previous year, while supporting Ukraine both militarily and through humanitarian aid. Nevertheless, Maloney conveyed to the pranksters that the Ukrainian counteroffensive had not yielded significant results. The pranksters, speaking with an Eastern European accent, continued their interview by discussing various topics with Maloney, including the Nigerian coup, the lifting of sanctions on Russia, EU immigration policies, and her thoughts on Rwanda's refugee deal with the UK to resettle illegal immigrants. In response to the latter, Maloney expressed concerns about the challenges of integrating migrants who arrive illegally at the borders. When the prank calls were first made, the AU issued a statement days later, condemning the impersonation, although it did not specify the European leaders who had fallen victim to the fraudulent calls. Estonian Prime Minister Kodja Kaulis also acknowledged that a call had been arranged, only to be revealed as a fake according to the country's foreign ministry. The AU Commission stated last month that it regrets these incidents, and reiterated its commitment to using official diplomatic channels to communicate with foreign governments, typically through their embassies in Addis Ababa. AU spokesperson Colondo mentioned in a tweet, the AU Commission reiterates its strict adherence to diplomatic protocol an exclusive usage of note verbale for high-level engagement requests. The tale of the fake African call serves as a stark reminder that even in the highest echelons of power and diplomacy, the unexpected can happen. It highlights the importance of vigilance and critical thinking in an age where communication can be easily manipulated. While it may have started as a prank, the incident reveals the nuances of international relations and the ever-present challenges that leaders face. It's a testament to the power of information and the ability of technology to blur the lines of reality. As the world continues to evolve, we must remain discerning and adaptable, always seeking the truth behind the headlines. The fake African call is a fascinating episode in the ongoing narrative of our interconnected global society. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.